Hi and welcome back to my channel and in this video we're going to be talking about how the Department of Work and Pensions will pay community interest companies grants for things like computers, desks and chairs and other furniture so they could run job clubs. A job club is when you invite people in who are unemployed um, and you help them do things like job searches, CV building, um, interview techniques, all that kind of stuff to help them get into work. Now, this is a great way to be able to get all those sort of startup basics grant funded. So in this video, I'm gonna tell you about how I did that and I'm gonna tell you about the process. So before I get into it, please hit the subscribe button on this channel. I deal with everything to do with community interest companies, social enterprises and grant funding. So let me tell you about my project. So Four Elements is my community interest company and I've had that for 10 years. And in the early days when I was setting it up, I wanted to be able to uh, run a project where I help people who were coming out of prison, who were long term unemployed, get into work. So I did various different things. And of course, as I was setting up, I didn't have the money to do to get all those startup costs. And I was applying for national lottery funding, but that was really covering my pay and the rent. So of course, you know, setting up things like getting computers and getting workstations and all that is very expensive. So I found out about the Department of Work and Pensions grants that they actually give out that covers all the equipment and the furniture needed to run a job club. So a job club is when you invite, as I said, unemployed people in and you do all those sorts of basic things like CVs, um, you know, interview techniques, um, you let them do job searches. They need obviously computers to do that. So I ran that project for quite a few years and it was fantastic that the Department of Work and Pension paid for all the furniture um, and all the computers. And I actually did this twice in the 10 years. So because uh, I did it first, the first time I did it, um, I had a much smaller setup. Um, and so I had it for that. And then the second time I did it, I moved to a much bigger premises. So then I applied again and they did give it to me again and they paid for, I think it was at that point, it was like five laptops, massive um, uh, table, like conference table, like from Ikea, all the different, uh, 10 chairs. So it had had really good space and they paid for all my like computer paper, um, inks and cartridges as well. So, um, so the people could then obviously print applications and stuff like that. So yeah, so that's the kind of idea um, of what that gives you an idea of what you can get funded. This is really great if you're starting out as a social enterprise, community interest company, and you know, you're know you looking to actually get some of those um, things covered. It's nice because then you don't have to add it onto the grants because the grants obviously are quite limited and you need them to pay like your staff costs and stuff. So being able to access this for the Department of Work and Pensions is fantastic. And it's really good to get in with them because they will then refer people over to your project. So what happens then when you set up your job club is um, they let all the job coaches know um, and they advertise that within the, obviously the um, job centers and then they will refer people to your job club and you can put posters up in the job centers and stuff like that. You can also promote it yourself. So I did, I promoted it myself. And then you can also get extra grant funding and extra payments. So let me explain to you some of the extra grants I was able to then bring in because I had that set up. So I have a local mental health service um, and they work with helping getting people back into work who've been long-term um, unemployed because of mental health issues. So they actually paid me to run some sessions with some people that were coming out, had to come out of prison and who had mental health issues. So they paid me per session to do basically job club stuff. You know, I like I said, you know, doing their CVs and, and talking them to them about disclosing criminal offences as well. So because I'd kind of set myself up as a specialist in that field, the um, obviously the local mental health trust um, saw that I was a specialist in that field and were happy then to pay me to do that work. So that's one example of a grant that I was able to get. And then aside from that, of course, there's the other things like the community fund from the National Lottery that will also fund for it and various other different pots as well. Now, this is really important work. So it's something that's quite easy to get funded because it's something that is easy to quantify to grant funders. It obviously has massive impact. It helps with inclusion. It helps beat poverty. It helps beat reliance on, on state benefits. It just does so many different things. So running a job club can be a really positive part of a community interest company. It could be the whole thing that you do, or it could just be a little side thing that you do. 
And added to that, you can also ask um, the a DWP and your local job centre if they want to send people to you for work experience. So at this point, you've already set up with all your computers and your workstation. So why not offer them um, work placements? Um, and again, that's something you can get grant funded, not from them, but but by, like I said, the lottery, etc. Where you can actually have people who are on, on benefits, long term unemployed, come and do some work experience and a bit of training with you. It doesn't have to be take up that much of your time. You could just set them tasks um, and give them bits of training here and there. And that's a really great way to give them something to put on their CVs so that they're able to then go out into the world and apply for jobs and they've got that work experience on their CVs. It can mean a huge amount to people. It can get people out the house. It can sort of ease people into the workplace. When I did it, I had quite a few people come over to me on work experience and I got them to do lots of creative things. So I taught them photography skills, media skills, social media skills, um, how to build websites, like just all that sort of, sort of stuff that is really great and is really useful in lots of different professions. But it also was creative and fun and interesting for them. And if you're working with somebody who's long-term unemployed, I think it's really nice to provide something that just sort of gets their foot in the door, gets them used to coming to a job. So if you can provide something that's really interesting and creative, you're more likely to get them to come in. Um, and my project was really successful because of that, because I used interesting you know, projects um, to get them in through the door. So I hope that's given you some ideas about what you could achieve if you started a job club and how you could get that funded. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button and subscribe to this channel.